The A-10 Thunderbolt II is a single-seat, twin-turbofan, straight-wing, subsonic attack aircraft that is not equipped with stealth capabilities so it cannot sneak up on the enemy. This aircraft can fly low by firing accurate weapons. Apart from the name Thunderbolt, the A-10 was also nicknamed the Warthog by its pilots and crew. This aircraft was greatly feared by enemy armored vehicle crews because its thunderous arrival was like a rain of fire falling from hell. Its attacks can penetrate armored walls and kill enemy troops in its rapid attack. The A-10 has agile and fast maneuverability and can operate at low altitudes while maintaining a highly accurate weapons firing platform. The aircraft can loiter near combat areas for long periods and is capable of making emergency landings and operating below 1,000 feet with a visibility of 1.5 miles. The A-10 Warthog's wide combat capability and short takeoff and landing capabilities enable operations in and out of locations close to enemy lines. Apart from that, the A-10 Warthog is also equipped with night vision goggles to be able to operate on dark battlefields. A-10 Warthog developed specifically for ground combat, its impressive range of capabilities is the main reason why it has remained in service for nearly five decades. Can the A-10 Warthog be a stealth fighter jet? Some time ago, rumors emerged from military observers that the A-14 was launched, which is a clone of the A-10 that has stealth capabilities. This impressive Mach fighter aircraft integrates the capabilities of more modern fighter jets, one of which is stealth capabilities. If this is successful, the A-10 will increasingly become the U.S. Air Force's mainstay for striking ground targets in low-altitude attacks. Many military observers compare the A-10 Warthog with the F-35 Lightning II in carrying out ground attacks, which has a different way of carrying out ground attacks. The A-10 Warthog does not have the capabilities of the F-35 that can operate with the U.S. Navy to target enemy aircraft carriers. The A-10 Warthog was present before the Russian S-400 technology was created. No one believed that the A-10 would be developed into a stealth fighter jet. The A-10 is still great at destroying enemy tanks with its combat missile attacks. A-10 Stealth Warthog not needed in future wars. However, the Air Force must concentrate on fighters for the future by adjusting the operational control systems depending on the mission being carried out. So, though the A-10 is quite an old aircraft, the A-10 has a quite superior and specific role on the battlefield. The A-10's main role is as close air support, which means this aircraft is designed to fly very low and as close as possible to enemy and friendly troops. The A-10 can fly stably at a height of tens of meters and at low speeds, in contrast to other modern fighter aircraft which require higher altitudes and speeds to fly stably. Armament The A-10 uses an autocannon or more commonly known as the GAU-8 Avengers 30mm machine gun. GAU-8 Avenger size Comparison of the size of the Avenger bullet with the 7.62 by 63mm bullet. 
The cannon used by the A-10 has an effective range of up to 1.2 kilometers with an accuracy rate of 5 miles, 80% this means that at an angle of 5 milliradians. This is still quite competent considering that the A-10's shooting objects are enemy trucks or combat vehicles. The GAU-8 Avenger has a penetration level ranging from 55mm to 76mm, which is certainly more than enough to damage enemy combat vehicles. Apart from that, the A-10 also has 11 hardpoints that can be equipped with various types of weapons ranging from rockets, land attack missiles Maverick, and bombs. Hardpoint A-10 Control Hydraulic In addition, the A-10 has two hydraulic systems for flying. However, the A-10 can fly with only one hydraulic system. This means that the A-10 can still fly with only one elevator, one aileron, and one rudder. If the entire hydraulic system is damaged, the A-10 can still fly with manual reversion flight control. This system allows the aircraft to still be controlled in a limited way, so that at least the pilot can still get away from the battlefield to eject or in conditions that allow flying back to base. The left end of the wing is the flap, while the right part is the aileron and trim tab. Generally, trim is done automatically by the system. However, in manual reversion where the hydraulics are completely turned off, the connecting part rod indicated by the red arrow acts as a forced driver of the aileron. By forcing the trim to move, the blowing wind will forcefully raise lower the ailerons so that the plane does not immediately fall when the hydraulics are completely dead. This is not found in other fighter aircraft. Landing Gear The A-10's landing gear does not fit completely into the fuselage. This aims to ensure that if the landing gear hydraulics are damaged, the aircraft can land without removing the landing gear with minimum damage to the fuselage. 